So, Katie, uh, let's start with what this threat actually means. Means the America First agenda is here and the rest of the world better be ready for it. If that social media post is accurate, the 25% tariff applies to any everything. Think energy sector, the auto sector, every single Canadian business that sends products into the U.S. market. The price hike is usually passed on to customers and it makes these foreign goods more expensive and less attractive than U.S. made products. Trump campaigned on tariffs. This is not surprising. And while he listed illegal immigration and drugs as reasons why, he was vague about what it will require for those tariffs to be dropped, just that the issues stopped. And Canada and Mexico have been lumped in together, even though they pose very different levels of concern. Keep in mind, this could be part of a larger posturing tactic as well, a way for Trump to extract other concessions out of Canada. For example, maybe even force Ottawa to increase its defence spending. And this has obviously triggered a reaction in Ottawa. What are you hearing? Prime Minister Justin Trudeau spoke with President-elect Donald Trump shortly after the social media post. The call lasted about 10 minutes, I'm told, and they discussed border security and trade. According to a senior Canadian government source, Trudeau specifically pointed out the fact that migrants crossing from Canada into the U.S., it's a fraction of what happens at the southern U.S. border. I'm told the initial reaction in Ottawa was calm. Canada has been preparing for this, though there are no indications, there were no indications it was coming so quickly. The threat was posted online as that special Canada-U.S. Cabinet Committee was actually meeting. The Prime Minister's Deputy Chief of Staff, Brian Clow, had to frantically pull staffers out of the meeting so they could bring everyone up to speed. Going forward, expect the return of Team Canada. Politicians, diplomats, business leaders speaking with their U.S. counterparts to plead Canada's case. And on that note, Trudeau also had calls with the premiers of Ontario and Quebec. And now Ottawa needs to plan its retaliation. The Trudeau government has been here before. Trump slapped tariffs on Canadian steel and aluminum during NAFTA negotiations. And at that time, Canada had a list of businesses that rely on trade with Canada, those American businesses. All sorts of details down to whether they're in a Republican district and whether tariffs would cause political damage. Look to that, Adrian. All right. Katie Simpson in Washington. Thanks, Katie.